Hey guys, Vikas over here and today we will see how we can send data from Raspberry Pi Pico W module to Node-RED using WebSocket. So here the Pi Pico W module will be running MicroPython and this is going to be the first part of two part series video where we will see how we can use Pi Pico W module running MicroPython for IoT purposes. The second part will be around storing the data from Node-RED to InfluxDB and thereafter displaying the data into dashboard so let's look at the micropython code first so over here i've uh, just opened my code in vs code so the entry point is going to be main.py and here we are using async io so in main.py we are uh, using two tasks one is read loop and send telemetry read loop basically interacts with the web socket uh, it tries to read if any data is available and send telemetry basically sends out the data to through the web socket basically so let's get into the definitions basically there are three functions that is the ui one is process data send telemetry and read loop so these are two tasks that is being used in main.py so in read loop what happens is basically is first tries to connect to wi-fi and if it is not collected it is try it just tries again and it's you know it then runs a while forever loop and it tries to connect to the web socket connection it does a handshake and if there is some data it just tries to write into a local cache basically so here the lock is used to you know restrict the access to the local cache and the data is stored into data from ws and finally it waits for 50 millisecond and again continues the loop in send telemetry what happens is uh, every just uh, you know five minutes you just send out the telemetry data using ws.send again this is an synchronous function and again for websocket purposes i have used this async uh, websocket client library you'll get the link to the library down below in the description okay coming back to this so every five minutes we are just sending the data and this uh, you know 600 is based on the slip time that we are giving in a millisecond so if you want to change time you can must change over here you can change this value and you can configure accordingly otherwise you can also mention that in configuration and you can load the data here so configuration basically i did tell you earlier but it holds all the configuration related data like wifi credentials and the web circuit server url and that is loaded initially over here into their respective variable and they are used across the file like whenever there is you know wi-fi connect and all that that is just wi-fi credentials and for web circuit we are using the server value also the retry interval is also configured in configuration so pretty much you can configure this value in configuration and you can load it and you can use it over here and then what happens is if there is some data in uh, you know in the web circuit uh, like you know the server is sent some data to client it's been iterated and process data function is invoked so inside process data what we are doing is if the server is uh, you know sending a payload that contains basically the json string and the json string has a key value pair that is data and with respective value so if the data pay, uh, data is you know containing the value payload then we send the telemetry data so that way the server can request for telemetry data as it needs okay you don't need to wait for five minutes or for the configured interval so we can pretty much ask the device to send out the telemetry data otherwise the data can also have one or zero value so if there is one we turn on the onboard led and if it is zero we turn it off okay so that's pretty much what we are doing here we are just trying to parse the json string that is coming in the web socket and yep yeah, that's all we are doing so if there is an exception passing json we're just printing into the console or the serial terminal over here so over here let's get into like you know what telemetry data we are sending and how we are coming up with that and basically this get data function returns the telemetry data as a json string so if we go to telemetry so here we are sending two three um, values basically 
first one is the onboard temperature sensor value of the pi pico w module so it, so it has already got a onboard temperature sensor and we are just reading that value and storing the temperature then by also sending out the disk space that is being used of the pi pico module and also we are sending out the ram status so for each attribute we are also sending out the unit of expression basically along with that we are also sending out a device id that will be you know unique to the particular pi pico module so yeah that's the basic json structure and that constitute the payload or the telemetry data that will be sending out from the pi pico w module so over here let's try to upload the micropython scripts to the pico w module for that connect your pico w module to your pc and for vs code i'm going to use the PyMaker extension and i have already installed them so if you want to know like how to use it you can check out my earlier video on this for which you will find that link down below in the description so i'll just get into here and my device is already showing up so i just connect and actually it is already running a script so we just need to stop it and upload the scripts and let's see on the serial console what it's saying so i'll just try to do a reset and it's trying to connect to wi-fi okay it's getting hand check error because our websocket is not yet ready so let's uh, get to node rate and we'll create the websocket endpoint and see if we are using data okay so here so let's get any then we'll have a json parser then we'll have a debug node and we'll have a websocket oh sorry again i have made a specific tutorial on using websocket on node rate and you can check that out as well so here just use a function so the you know payload has to be in specific structure to send it to the module so either deploy now we should get connected and in the console it will say handshake now let's try to control the onboard led if i send one the onboard led should be on oh i just sent zero okay it should be off and Oh my bad. And it should be on and instead of zero, I should be sending one. Done. Deploy. And it should auto connect in case of the connection breaks. Now let's send one. And yep, the onboard LED is on. Now I can set off signal and it should be off. Yep, that's pretty much working. Now let's try to request the payload from the module so i'll just send out payload keyword and we should get the data and it's in the format like you know sensors where you know it's an array and it can have multiple sensors but right now i just have one and in the memory which is basically the device telemetry we are getting disk and the total size and the use size and the ram okay that's pretty much it for today so in the next video we'll see how we can we are going to process this data store into influx db then fetch the data and show in node dashboard so that's all for today guys hope you have enjoyed this video if so hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for videos like this see you next time with our next video till then goodbye